I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't find any entertainment from many horror movies. There's only been a couple where I find it really entertaining. It's just the type of person I am. I know a bunch of you are gonna be like, Well, I've seen this horror movie, and it was so freaking scary, and so freaking awesome, that you're just an idiot, man. The genre's good, I like this stuff. But usually I just see these really crappy horror movies, and I'm like, what the heck are they doing? Like... Oh my god, a curtain's moving? That's so scary? Really? But, okay, alright, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have a very vivid imagination. So, when I watched horror movies as a kid, I was a complete bitch. I would be, like, so scared. If my room was, like, really dark and I was alone in there, I'd be like, Oh my god, I'm gonna put the blankets over my face. I don't want to see anything. There's gonna be some, like, creepy monster coming from my closet. Or there's gonna be some creepy monster underneath my bed. And I was like, Oh, if I step off my bed, it's just gonna grab my ankle. Because, y you know, that little space underneath your bed. They would just wait there, hiding. And ready to take you into the abyss that they came from and i was like i'm not gonna be any monster meat not me i know i taste good because that's who i am a good piece of meat <laughs> okay honestly though yes i had a very vivid imagination and i just couldn't stand to watch them so i avoided them and i still do kind of avoid horror movies for that reason but in the same breath i just think like the whole idea of horror movies is stupid i mean i just don't find much interest in how they go all right so this part is where many of you might start disagreeing with me but i'm gonna go through basically how a horror movie goes i'm a dumb person that doesn't know how to handle situations and I'm in a house where I do very dumb things that many people with common sense wouldn't do. But I do this dumb stuff because otherwise the movie wouldn't be interesting. So, as a dumb person. Derp, derp, derp. Okay, so we're just going to do like the derp, 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 derp. Music in the background as I'm doing this. Just imagine that going on. So, I'm in a house. I hear a creaking noise and I hear something. And I'm like, hmm, I'm dumb. Let me check it out. So I walk towards the noise, and I'm like, hello? Giving away my position. Hello? Anybody there? And then I just walk, walk, walk. The house just looks crappy, and there's some eerie noises, creaking stairs, you know, and then, like, all of a sudden, a shrieking sound happens. And I'm like, whoa, what the heck is that? I'm going to head towards it still. So I do. Blah, 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 blah. And then, all of a sudden, I'm meat. That's right. I'm monster meat. And then you have the, the main character who's like, I'm going to figure this out. Why is this situation like this? So they start researching. They have a few encounters with the monster. They escape it. And they're like, oh, this is how it happened. And then they go to this place where there's this supposed curse and they take down the curse. Or they get eaten and they're good monster meat. And then we have a sequel. With that said though, I wouldn't go so far as to say that some horror isn't like acceptable with me. I don't have a problem with exorcism movies. I, I mean, if I really had to watch something that was kind of in the horror genre, that's where I would stick is in the exorcisms. I think <laughs> sometimes it's pretty funny, like the scary movie version of that with a green-faced woman in bed, and she's like, Ugh! she pukes all over him. I, I think that's pretty funny, but okay, that's not horror. That's just like a parody of it, but if we're being honest, I, I actually think exorcisms, you know, they, uh, I, I believe in the supernatural just a little bit, so I, I think it's it's plausible in the real world, and I, I find it interesting to see what goes on. Maybe it's just a cuckoo person, or maybe it's really something going on in that person. I'm also more likely to believe in the supernatural, just like 
things moving in midair and crazy stuff like that because you know as a kid sometimes i'd be like oh i want to have that telekinetic ability i'd stare at something really hard and i'd be like move move but like if it didn't move of my own volition and it moved just randomly i'd, I'd be pooping bricks you know what I'm saying? But I, I've never really witnessed anything supernatural at the moment. I don't want to jinx myself and witness that stuff. But I believe that it's possible. And I believe that it really has happened. With that said, I don't really buy into the ghost-busting shows that they have. Because they never really come away with something plausible. And how can you really believe it? They can easily doctor the footage. So... It's like a double-edged sword when I look at something like that. I think to myself, I have to see it with my own two eyes to really believe it. Instead of, you know, oh, well, they saw this and that. It's good enough for me. No, it's not. I really do have to see it to really believe it. But anyways, guys, that will do it for this video. What is your opinion of the supernatural and horror movies? Tell me what you think. Anyways, guys, have a great day, as I will too. Paces!